Hello everybody. In this video, we'll see how we can upload files in ASP.NET MVC Core. So what I'm going to try to do now is first load the project and see what we got, see the result, and after that we'll review the code. So what we got inside our index page, we have two buttons, choose file, and basically we can choose one or more files, and after that we got the button for uploading it. Now basically what we are doing in our case is first we get file from X location, after that we read it, and the third thing is we save it to other Y location. Now the important thing here is how we're getting the file and how we're reading it. Of course a third step, if you want you can save it somewhere, let's say save it on Y location or you can read it, you can modify it, or just upload it in some cloud storage. So, let's see how it's working. I'm getting to my desktop and choose akskustu.png. Open it, and after that say upload. What I receive is a JSON, which is saying how much elements I get, what is the size, and what is the file path, with some, which is in my temp folder. Copy this path, opening uh, Windows Explorer. I'm of course going to remove double swatches because here it's working with single one. Okay, so we got temp. Let's try to find it. I'm copying the name, open, search here, and here we have it created. So far so good, so it looks like it's working. Now let's actually review the code, what stays behind that. Opening my solution explorer, I got created file, uh, file pods, empty ASP.NET Core project. And let's see what we have. So opening views, home and index. Here, what I have is a simple form. Now in this form, the, thing, the par parameters that I'm setting are method post. Why post? Well, because we're posting some file. What is end type? Multipart from data. And here, what I'm saying is, send the requ this request and this form to ASP controller with name home and ASP action with name post. If I open my controller, here we can see that home is the same as the name of the controller and inside that I have action with name post. Going back, what I have? Well, I have just some div, inside that another div, the paragraph that we saw both one or more files using this form. And I got input, type with file and name files, and attribute multiple. After that, again, ignoring some uh, design, des uh, design elements like just div, I have a port button, which is from type submit. The important things that you need to remember here is that our method is paused. We are providing ASP slash controller home and ASP slash action post. Here, in files, I'm giving the name files, which is very important. Why? Because, let's go now to controller. So let's say we bind the controller, we got proper action. Now, this files name that we have as parameter should be the same as this name. Now, what we have inside our controller? Well, first we say that we expect list from iform file. iform file is coming uh, from Microsoft ASP.NET Core.http.iform file. So basically, this namespace. So we're receiving the list from these interfaces. What we're doing? We're saying give me the size files.sum and for all of them length. And with that, we're going to take the size for all elements. After that, we're returning it. The next thing, we're getting the full path uh, to file in temp location. And after that, we're making for each. So we're going through each element that we receive inside our list. The first thing that we're checking if length is less or equal to zero, then we actually, it is, this is similar to say if form file is equal to no. But that's a better way to check it. So if that's no, we just continue to the next file. In other case, what we're doing? We're using new file stream, passing our file path, and the mode. Right now we need to have file mode.create 
because we would like to recreate our file inside our location. So as you saw, we get it from uh, desktop and we recreated it inside my then folder. After that, we're saying just form file dot copy to a sync stream. Now, of course, in real world app, you would have some validations to check extension extension of your file. For example, if you want to upload an images, then you you will say that I would like this image to be with BMP extension or JPEG or PNG, etc., etc. To the end of this action, I'm saying return status code OK with new anonymous object. This anonymous object will give us count, which is equal to files.count, will provide size and our file path. So that's basically what we saw when we uploaded the image. So far you can see that it's very easy to upload any type of files and the only thing that you need to add to this code to make it really working in your real, real world app is just validated to make sure that you receive the proper thing. Thank you very much for watching.